Hey fellow writers, Scott here from Script Reader Pro. In today's video, we're going to learn about concepts and how to come up with some interesting ones in interesting ways. So let's go. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video of our Screenwriting 101. Today we're going to be talking about how to come up with concepts that catch people's attention. Things that make us say, huh, well that's interesting. Things that make people see dollar signs and audiences and success. And there are plenty of different concepts, plenty of different levels of concepts. Not every movie must have that high octane, instant trailer in our heads type of idea behind it. A lot of great movies are understated. They're more character driven, but there's still a concept there. It doesn't matter what genre you want to write in. It doesn't matter if you want it to be heavier on character and lighter on plot or heavier on plot, lighter on character. There always has to be a concept behind it that really makes us pay attention. A softer concept idea that's falling in line with the more character driven balance is something like return to me. His wife died, the love of his life, and she had her heart donated when she passed. And he meets a woman down the line and falls in love with her only to find out that she has his former wife's heart. It's a powerful idea. It's a sweeping love story and it's a hard look at just how you are able to move on or not in life when a loss hits you. That's not necessarily a high concept, but you can understand what that movie is going to be. You can understand how that movie is going to affect people, where the emotion comes from, and you can understand how that is going to be something that has a built in audience. There are plenty of ways to come up with interesting concepts and it's important to have a really strong log line to follow within that concept. And if anyone doesn't quite know what a log line is, it's essentially that one sentence, hopefully rundown of who your movie is about, what the conflict is, what the stakes are, and who they're up against. Those are four basic things that you can put in your log line and you can check our blog that has a whole section on log line creation. But coming up with a concept that's interesting, that's going to make people pay attention, isn't necessarily easy, but a great way to help come up with ideas like that is to think of characters. Any movie has a hook that is interesting or it wouldn't have become a movie. And some concepts are quite wild, like Looper, for example, one of my favorite type of sci-fi movies. But you take a bounty hunter in the future who has to stand in a certain spot where a criminal is going to be jumped back in time so that that bounty hunter can get paid and kill the guy. So what do you do? You have that bounty hunter standing there waiting. And when the criminal appears from the time jump and he turns around, it's an older version of himself. Wow, like what a great idea. It's instant conflict. It takes someone and says, what's the worst thing that can happen to this bounty hunter who kills people that come from the future? The worst possible thing is to have it be himself in the future. See, a great concept comes down to character. And you see a lot of these options and these choices in many different genres. But you look at something like the action genre with speed. Right? So it's got a concept already where you take a bomb and you put it on a bus and once it gets to 50, it triggers that bomb and if it drops below 50, it's going to explode and kill everyone on that bus. Right? So that's the concept. But you look at the character, which character would be the worst possible one for that to happen to? You're going to take that leading character and have him be the agent that was previously wronged and set up and put in a position by that same terrorist. So there's a personal angle there where he let that guy get away. So now he's got to take him down. It's personal. So what's the worst thing that can happen? That terrorist has a personal vendetta against that agent. So he, that cop, he has to do everything he can to stop that man because there's something personal there. Again, it all comes down to character. Character is everything in a great concept. You'll get something like flatliners, 
great movie in the 80s, didn't really enjoy the remake, but you take a group of college students who are trying to figure out what happens in those moments after death when you aren't breathing, but you aren't quite gone. You can still be brought back. What happens? You take a bunch of characters, you put them in that position, and you have them bring something back with them. The reason it works is because those characters are all dealing with an unspoken and unvoiced trauma. They all have something in their past that haunts them, even though they may not cognitively recognize that. But this act that they go through and what they bring back haunts them deeply because of what they've gone through in their past. Character. Everything comes down to character, always does. You look at something like Fast and the Furious, right? It's a giant, explosive, huge movie that jumps the shark constantly, and it's very unbelievable in a lot of aspects. But do we care? No, because we want to see Dom, right? We want to see Letty. We want to see all of these characters that come and go in these sequels because they're fun and they're entertaining and we love to watch them get into these perilous situations. Every movie has an interesting concept, but if you look at character and you always come back to character, you're going to find something interesting. Always ask yourself, what's the worst thing that can happen to a character? You make it happen to them. And then your movie comes from them going through that journey and getting to a point in the end where they stop and they realize that even though that was the worst thing that could ever happen to them, it ends up being the best thing that could have happened to them because of how they end up in that story. That's a powerful, universal, human story that anyone can identify with. So when you're coming up with your concept, think of characters. Even if your concept comes first, think of who's the worst possible character for this to happen to. That's where the fun of it all comes from. So keep yourself focused on character. Make sure your concept matches who those characters are in your movie. And then let the chips fall. Throw everything in the book at them and watch them change and watch them grow. If you have an idea and a concept, a set of characters that perhaps doesn't excite people in those ways, then it may not be the best choice to focus on. And even if it's a television idea, TV series ideas are the same. Here's the situation, here's the characters. You have a medical student meet a guy in a bar, they get along, they hook up, and in the morning as she reports to work, she finds out in her residency that the man she just left is her boss at the hospital. That is conflict, that is tension, that is a world set up in one instance, and that's Grey's Anatomy. Any television show also has characters paired with concept. You put them together. It's not just an idea and it's not just characters. It's a great merge between those two to create a cinematic world that is going to be exciting and fun to watch. If you like what we're doing, make sure that you subscribe to our videos by hitting that subscribe button. We have a lot of other videos on here as well that you can click on, that you can move to, and we're trying to put out a lot more content. So keep watching our channel. We are excited about writing. We are a team of writers and we just love this stuff. So we're happy to pass on what we can to you as fellow writers that can get you motivated to get those words down on the page. So until next time, write hard.